Hello and welcome again. Welcome back to Torchlight 2. Here we have the magical, magical engineer, Taran Sars, and we're going to the temple, temple steps. So we can explore and get more stuff, because we like stuff. Stuff is good. Alright. Looking around, I don't see anything. Well, nothing yet. Oh, I see some things. These skeletons are coming alive! Save us, Banders. Good god, I smacked his legs off. And then we had to kill him. So, we're going to switch to our cannon. Shoot this guy. Ooh, that's red fire damage. Deals damage to everybody in front of us. We're going to summon our little Healy bot. Okay. And. Ooh. Can't let them get behind us. Lord knows what terrible thing that would do. Yeah, these skeletons are relentless. Ah, they're shields. Some enemies have shields which you must destroy before you can continue to kill it. Not all of them, but some. These minions are obviously triggered by us coming in here. Ooh, what is this? Shrine of Healing. I haven't actually seen one of those yet. What you do is you talk to it and it activates it. It heals you over time. What? Um. That's weird. My thing had turned off. Oh, well, might as well go back and see if we must missed anything. We did. We missed lots. Ah! It's a mimic! Mimics disguise themselves as chests so they can get the jump on certain peoples. Well, probably going to put another skill into the healing bot. Ah! Well, thank you, Banders. And then one into all of these, and then two of this, because our strength is augmented by something we are wearing. Okay, continue on. Uh, probably should activate the Shrine of Healing. It lasts for a minute. But, there's nothing we're really going to be fighting that'll be super deadly, at least not on normal. Is it up here? No, it's around more. <laughs> if I looked at the minimap, I would know. Ooh, a lich's grave. Perhaps that wasn't the smartest thing we could've done. But if we keep shooting at him, we'll have everything in between us. Do pick up everything. Stop it! It's not very nice. So just cannoning everything. Oh, what is that? Why are those things being summoned on us? Oh. Don't want to miss anything. Everything we miss is money we could use. Oh, I heard a thing. Blood Ember spec. Ah, uh, these special, um, what are they called? Ethereal chests. You walk up to them and it summons a bunch of ghosts and you fight them. And then you get to loot what's in the chest, which is nice. There are a lot of skeletons. Are you walking to a graveyard? Whoops! Well, I didn't mean to summon another one, but... Whatever, there we go! Ah, so many skeletons! Oh, hello! You must be the human the other Asterians are speaking of. I'm glad to have met you. I've been sent on a quest by Grand Regent El Eldraean 
to recover the scroll of Anam Irek, stored in the vault of the corrupted crypt here. Unfortunately, the stem baron have already entered the crypt, and I have been unable to get past them. Can I ask that you attempt to retrieve the skull? I will wait here in the path of the honored dead for your return. Should you succeed, I will see to it that I can provide you with some equipment more fitting of a hero of your statue. Oh, we will get 488 gold, 1700 experience, and 255 fame. Fame is like experience, except for we don't get to level up our stats, we just get uh, skill points for our thing. She'll give us a great axe, a great hammer, or a collar for our pet. I will accept that and then walk away, because I'm going to explore this entire world before I get on with any quests. As everyone should. I mean, it only makes sense, right? I'm here, I'm going to be here for a bit. I might as well get everything here before I go. So, we activate everything and then turn around and shoot everything. They seem to be only dropping a bunch of gold. Which is fine, I mean, but... Items. Items sell for more. Gold sells for one gold. Items sell for multiple gold. Don't be a mimic. There we go. Oh, that seemed to have summoned a lot of things. So, we're going to lure it all over here so we can shotgun them to death. Or, we can do this! Which is also fun. Ah, we leveled up. So, time to allocate our points. We cannot put another into our Healy Bot until level 6, which is annoying, but it keeps you from leveling up an item too quickly. We'll probably put it into Flame Hammer because we use that as well. So we got our two skills. Is there anything else over here? Well, it's an archer. No? Can't smash that? Looks like one of those things you could smash. In any case. So shotgun to take out a large number of enemies quite quickly. And run all the way over here. Should probably go back to the beginning to see what that little gray bit right next to the beginning was. That we had apparently missed. And I'm going the wrong way already. Oops. I keep right clicking even though I don't mean to. Ah, see? We missed an enemy! experience we needed. Not necessarily needed. What is this? Why are all these enemies coming alive now? Did I just not go this far? Well, in any case, we're going back now. And... nearly there. Oh, see, we should have gone this way. I mean, there's nothing. That's what I get for not exploring. Well, alright. <coughs> hmm. That's disappointing. But, you know, it happens. It, it's probably gonna happen most likely to everyone. There's nothing I can do to prevent it, but... Oh! There's stuff. Barrel. And skeletons, and barrel, and skeletons, and skeletons, barrel. Our little Healy bot's stuck down there. Ah! They keep using the wrong right click. Summoning more Healy bots, which I don't need. Ah, they shoot faster. Ooh, shoulder pads. Anything over here? No? Okay. Just curious. Ah, there's something over here. And stuff up here. Lots of things. So many things. Okay. We're almost to our destination. At least one of them. Ah, yep, here it is. The temple steps. Not going in there yet. Gotta do all the side quests first. Oh, so 
sword, green sword. Green sword's good. And you and everyone else gets one. You get a gun. You get a gun. Ooh! There's an ethereal chest over there. And summon the ghosts and shoot the ghosts and the ghosts die. Open the chest and we get stuff. Okay, let's see what we have. Um, light gloves, ghastly glove, boots, the 1% increased in magic find. Luck conveys 5% chance to burn for 5 seconds. It's pretty good, I'm equipping those. Don't need a shield, don't need a sword. Ooh, a ring. Uh, poison resist. Or lots of ice resist. I like the ice resist better. Cries level 6. These are obviously better. A bow. These are even better. These are not better. These are better. That's a hammer. Which is... Wait. No, it's a tiny hammer. That doesn't count. I need a great hammer. Okay, so we shift-click to give our pet all of these items, except for... Well, these two items, and our Blood Ember spec, because... Those are better, and we want to keep those. So then we click up here to send Pet to town, and he'll run off to town very quickly and sell all the items he has in his inventory. Which is quite handy, if you ask me. And then we head to the temple steps. There's the bad guy, Mr. Steampunk. Whatever his face is. I wasn't paying attention. The alchemist? Yeah, something like that. He looks like a big forge. I can't imagine that armor being comfortable. At least he's, you know, enchanted with that armor. So here we have... There's rocks on it. It's weird. Here we have the waypoint portal. We click on it and we can warp, warp back to the Asterian Conclave, which we're going to. Whoops. Our, pe our, bleh, our pet meets you in town and brings you 355 gold from the sale of items. Which is nice. It doesn't really have the ability to haggle, but, you know, he's pretty good. So we go to our stash and we toss these items in, because we're not going to use them just yet. And then we shall be done. Yeah. Well, that was a fruitful episode. Talk to this guy. Nope. Nothing new. Alright, so. That's it for the tenth. No. Was it? No, that was the Path of the Honored Dead. That's it for the Path of the Honored Dead. So, until next time, when we take on the Temple Steps, farewell. <laughs>